It had been 36 hours since I'd seen daylight, and so I ventured out onto the strip. I was making a house call on the Hilton's most dependable gambler, Dr. Martha Ogman. I'd been thinking about the prodigious amounts she'd lost and was curious about her life outside the casino. Yeah, how are you? I found her at home in a gated community behind the Hilton. This is your um, wonderful home. It's a mess, a total mess. This is the living room. This is the living room? You see all the boxes? <laughs> no, so are you, are you still moving in here, Martha? Is that what's going on? Yes, I'm still moving in. And who's the handsome gentleman? That's my son, my Lurking. delicious child. How do you do? Hello. His box Louis. is all over the Seth, place. Nice to meet Seth, you. nice to meet you. Do you play the slots too, Seth? At times. At times. Yeah. He's not a gambler. No. Not big. If I want to get rid of him, I give him $20 and he'll get lost for about an hour. To people in Britain, you know, the, the, the some of the sums that, that Martha gambles are quite amazing. Um, she mentioned... <coughs> The figure of about four million dollars in seven years, and um, right. I wondered what your take on that was. Nothing. What do you think about that, Seth? Nothing. <laughs> I think it's crazy. Okay. I mean, I'll play some of the quarter machines and nickel machines, but I'll also go to the sports book and I'll place a few bets. Yeah. And uh, but I don't go crazy. I have a set limit and I stick to it. It could be argued that you are gambling Seth's inheritance. You're right. And whatever's left, he can have. And what do you think about that, Seth? That's all right with me. Is it all right with you, seriously? Yeah. Uh, yes, he Why? is a good. She yeah. wants to gamble. It makes her happy. That's all right with me. See that? Mm. He's a good kid. Mm. Have you had a conversation with your mother where you said, enough, you know, it's getting excessive? No, no, no one tells me what to do. Have you, Seth? My husband never told <laughs> me what to do, and neither does my son. I do what I think is right. Have you tried to? I've tried. Doesn't but, work. But uh, she wants to gamble, makes her happy, so that's all right with me. Have you have tried, though? Yeah. How many times? Oh, a few. <laughs> many times. Yeah. And what have you said? I've said, you know, just take a break, you know, come back tomorrow, or let's take a couple of days off. And every once in a while, she will. I'll take two days off and go back. Now, can you see the Hilton from here? The Hilton's up here, you can see it. You mean the building itself? Yeah. Did you know that? Yes, that's the Hilton. And, um, and if, when the time comes, uh, you know, Seth, you, you come into your inheritance and there's nothing left? <laughs> He's got well, money. hopefully she'll win the mega bucks. It's like at 11 and a half million. Seriously, though. Well, he has listen, money if that's what happens, that's what happens. Come on. He has money saved. Now, be real. He does. No, but to, to, I mean, to come into your inheritance and there's nothing left? If there's nothing left, there's nothing left. Seth? Nothing you could do about it. What can you do? She likes to gamble. If there's nothing left, there's nothing left. How come you're so philosophical? I don't think this is the real, I think there's more going on. It's too on. hot here to be. <laughs> I always say, when you're gambling at a casino, just take the money and run. Because I've seen people that have 1,200 credits in a machine, whether it's a quarter or a dollar machine, and they're still playing. I say just take the money and run, because they're going to get you in the end. It, you know, that's how they build these new towers. <laughs>